unkipped. Uh, it's been raining a lot, so I wanted to share with you what I've been learning about rainy days and puddles. A while ago, I read this book by Tim Ferriss called Tools or Titan. He interviews this guy named Josh Walskin, and Josh is a father, and he was reflecting on the fact that um, parents can use language like, oh, it's not the right weather to play because it's raining, so like the weather's bad, or today's sunny, so it's good to play, and how it's easy to kind of like have these external factors uh, you know, you have to wait for the right condition to do stuff. And I've also had the same thing from one of my English friends. They were saying, why do Australians always have to wait for dry weather or no rain before they go out? Because yeah, I, I do that. You know, if it's raining, I'm like, oh, just go another day. Uh, why do we wait for the right conditions? So what I've learned from rainy days and puddles is you don't have to wait for the right condition. Just go and do it. You know, embrace the rain, enjoy the puddles. Uh, an example for me is like doing these YouTube videos. I didn't wait for the right condition. I didn't wait for the right perfect external kind of factors before I did it. Um, I don't even know how to edit videos. This is a very simple kind of setup. I don't have, own a camera. I just embrace the rain and enjoy the puddles. So um, have a think about in your own life, are you waiting for the right conditions, the right external factors? Uh, if you have planned to do something and you really want to do it, then I encourage you to just go ahead and do it. I'll link the transcript, the transcription of the interview in the link below. So if you want to read the full interview, you can do that. All right, catch you next time. Bye. Woohoo!